Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today I'm super excited to talk about this 60th Grammy uh, nominations and it's just like two days ago basically uh, I uh, started to check out the, the nominations, the list, you know, because I'm super, I was super excited like uh, somebody told me, oh, hey, like nominations <laughs> came out uh, and I was like, oh shit, I gotta check them out and so I did and I was super impressed because like uh, the picks are good the nominations are pretty good uh, last year they were good too but usually we have a stigma of you know like the Grammys are always disappointing because what we think uh, should win don't usually win but uh, really like last two years the lists were fire <laughs> really good and this year uh, amazing um, only have few complaints and we're gonna discuss about that but let's just uh, check out the list one more time again uh, with you guys this time right uh, we're gonna go through uh, all nominations and discuss which one which project was the best like in my opinion for example uh, what are my picks you know uh, what I want to win and I'll try to predict what will actually win so let's just get into it <laughs> All right, let's see. Record of the year. Okay, uh, we have Chalice Gambino, Redbone, Luis Fonsi and Didi Yankee featuring Justin Bieber, Despacito, The Story of OJ by Jay Z, Humble, and 24K Magic. All right, so all five choices are pretty damn good. I love the fact uh, that you know these songs are here. Uh, my choice, honestly, I would like either humble or 24k magic to win because like 24k magic is so uh great tune like to vibe into to dance to a 24 karat magic in the air kind of thing and then humble uh you know just one of the biggest uh rap songs out there i'm i'm actually uh it's nice to see three rap songs over here as a record of the year being a fan of rip, uh hip-hop but um I'm not sure, like I'm having doubts uh, that Humble or 24K Magic will win because uh, there's Despacito because Despacito have been the biggest song of 2017 with 4.3 billion views on YouTube and it's still going up, I think it's even more now so I'm not sure, even this, I like Despacito but I would prefer, and I love all the songs. The story for Jay is a killer. Jay Z was talking about a lot of real good stuff uh, that that needed to be addressed. And Redbone was just uh, something unique and special. Uh, I even <laughs> made a cover of the song. I uh, sang that song myself. Like I really was enjoying that song. But hmm, I'd go for humble. I'd go for humble. Yeah. Yeah, for the record of the year. Uh, but Despacito is my prediction that it, w it will actually win. Um, next, we have Album of the Year uh, Chalice Gambino, Wicked My Love, Jay Z444, Kendrick Lamar Dam, Lord the Melodrama, and Bruno Mars 24K Magic. They, uh, it's nice to see Lord Melodrama uh, over here because I was talking about the uh, Lords project even though I didn't really enjoy it I still love the production of the uh, album and I was freaking uh, shocked by her abilities and it deserves to be here it definitely deserves to be here uh, Awaken My Love interesting choice over there uh, even though I, I really like that album too but it's just like uh, I didn't know that I didn't expect that Grammy will give so much love to this project you know we have Redbone as record of the year Awaken My Love as album of the year uh, but pretty damn good songs over there not gonna lie check it out if you haven't uh, damn <laughs> again hard choice but I would go for either 444 or damn um, my, my personal pick um, it will be damn probably although I do enjoy 4044 but damn is yeah my my album of the year uh, but hmm I guess yeah damn damn actually might win the album of the year my prediction is damn yeah uh, I wanna 
give Bruno Mars something because I do enjoy 24K Magic album as well. Uh, and song of the year, we have Despacito, 444 Issues, uh, Logic Suicidal Song, uh, and Bruno Mars, that's what I like. Uh, all good tunes except issues i don't really enjoy issues to be honest but i i do enjoy julia michaels as a feature on uh, clean bandit song or on Maroon 5 song but i don't enjoy the issues at all uh song of the year the quality of the songs are not that great as uh the record of the year you know uh they are still big hits but uh, I don't really enjoy uh, Logic song. I like that song, but I don't really enjoy. It. Didn't, didn't really listen to it all the time. Despite that, I was uh, enjoying it uh, until it was overplayed too much. Um, Forty Forty Four, nice track for sure. Uh, but I, as I said, Bruno Mars. That's what I like. Is my personal pick, and it might actually win. It might actually win. Uh, but again, like the Despacito is just too strong, you know. And Jay Z is having eight nominations. He will win something <laughs> for sure out of this. But um, is it gonna happen here in this category? I'm not sure. Uh, but again, Despacito is just too strong of a single. Um, probably, yeah. Grammys will give it to Despacito. But I will. I my personal pick is that's what I like. Best new artist, we have Alicia Cara. Well, she's not that new, like she's been <laughs> around for a while, a while. Lil Uzi Vert, um, okay. Uh, Khalid, yeah, not a bad choice for sure. Julia Michaels, uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, and SZA, SZA definitely, like, I guess SZA should win. Uh, she's, she's incredible. Um, but I like Alicia Carr too. Uh, I don't really care about Lil Uzi Vert or Julia Michaels, even though Lil Uzi Vert, I like uh, some of his songs. Uh, Khalid didn't really grow on me that much. I prefer Daniel Caesar, for example, that we were gonna see him on R&B uh, genre, I believe. Uh, he's also nominated, thank God. I, I enjoy the fact that Daniel Caesar is nominated over here. I prefer him rather than Khalid. Khalid's not bad, but I don't know, didn't really enjoy Khalid. Uh, but SZA, yeah, I think SZA, I'm predicting that SZA will win, and my choice will be SZA, even though Alicia Carly is, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Uh, beautiful person, really beautiful person, and uh, what a voice. Best pop solo performance. Um, Kelly Clarkson, Love So Soft, Kesha Praying, Lady Gaga Million Reasons, Pink, what about us? At Shirin Shape of You, nice songs. Really love those, uh, you know, choices that Grammy uh, Academy Award did. Uh, love the fact that you know, ballads like "Praying" is over here, which is unexpected for Grammys. Like we, like Grammys actually did conscious choices this time, <laughs> not uh, as like recent years. Uh, million reasons love that song love that song killer performance by Lady Gaga and Shape of You of course is the biggest over here I'm still you know like it's still about more popularity contest which song was more popular than or something but and again like if in terms of if we're thinking about that then Shape of You should win this uh, category and Ed Sheeran is a safe choice. Obviously, everybody likes Ed Sheeran, and I like it. I like him too. But I mean, like my heart is on praying or million reasons, uh, and it's hard to pick, you know. And what about us is, is also a great song. Uh, Love so soft, Love so soft is also a nice tune, but it's like my least favorite. Um, hmm. oh, damn. <laughs> Probably million reasons. Probably million reasons, cause like I don't know, I felt it more than praying. And though, and I was listening to million reasons much more than praying. Although praying is still adorable song, freaking amazing song. I love that performance by Kesha. Was shocked by the that fact. But million reasons is my pick. Um, million reasons might win. I think though it's gonna be like a second choice. First choice is gonna be Shape of You. Shape of You probably will win. Uh, but again, uh, it's like obvious choices, but uh, Grammys can actually surprise us and give uh, give out to something, uh, not rather 
the biggest smash hit or not the biggest popular thing but actually what deserves to win more kind of and you know if we're talking about pop solo performance definitely you know Kesha or Lady Gaga songs like like they put all the emotions they had over those tracks um, so yeah best pop duo group performance the chain smokers and <laughs> no <laughs> Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee uh Despacito um okay uh Imagine Drag no 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 although I like Thunder but no <laughs> I don't want that to win uh Portugal the man feel it still and Z and Z and Alicia Cara stay not a bad track but too poppy uh but it's still a nice track uh feel it still yeah, feel it still. I my my choice is on feel it still definitely for sure number one pick. I do enjoy that track a lot, and it might win. It actually might win. Um, I'm still like wondering about this Despacito. Like every time I'm looking at the there's like Despacito, I was like, man, I think they're gonna get that nomination, like get that award. But um, my prediction. Fuck it, <laughs> feel it still. Uh, you know, I feel it still will win. That's my prediction as well. Best pop vocal album. Coldplay, Coldplay. <laughs> I mean, I, I like. Don't get me wrong. I love Coldplay, and I actually like not lying or not trying to be nice. And I, I actually love Coldplay, but uh, something just like this, their collaboration with Chainsmokers wasn't that great. I and I don't like chain smokers now, uh, you know, since uh, the single uh, Closer, you know, they changed their sound into like basic formula, one formula, and they follow that formula all the time. So I just don't like the chain smokers at this point. Uh, Coldplay, uh, Kaleidoscope, it's an EP, it's not an album, <laughs> and it's like pop vocal album. I mean, like, you have to sing nicely over there, and uh, like uh, Chris Martin has nice voice but it's just like should be like you know vocal vocal kind of thing if you don't if you know what i mean uh so like that nomination fits better for land of rays project last for life or not imagine dragons no uh, i don't like imagine dragons now um it's just not it became not my taste unfortunately um, I did like them before in 2012, 13, 14. I did enjoy those songs, but not now. I don't know what happened. Just not really, don't really love them anymore. Catch a Rainbow. I'm like, that's what surprised me most, and that was the most pleasing thing to witness that, you know, we have projects like Rainbow songs like Million Reasons over here, you know, maybe not the best uh, popular songs out there but definitely they you know still got the nominations because they deserve it so that's what that's what I like about these Grammys uh, and nominations um, Catch a Rainbow, Lady Gaga Joanne awesome awesome Ed Sheeran Divide also incredible project I did enjoy Divide a lot and personally I listen to Divide the most out of all projects. Joanne, I did listen to like three, four tracks. I didn't like the entire project. Rainbow, I did like the entire project, except maybe like one, two songs. I was listening to the whole project, but not as often as, as often uh, and as many times as Divide. Uh, so my pick is Divide, although I would love uh, if Kesha wins it, you know, because Kesha deserves it. Lana Del Rey, even though I don't really enjoy that much, uh, Lana Del Rey, I still think that she deserves something at this point. Like she dropped a lot of uh, good projects, good songs at this point. So I wouldn't be disappointed if Lana Del Rey will win something as well. But my pick will be Divide, uh, even though my heart is on Kesha. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Divide, my pick. And uh, my prediction, who's, who's gonna actually win pop vocal album probably divide as well because yeah, it's the biggest project uh, out there best rap performance 
Big Sean bounce back, incredible. Cardi B, Borak Yellow, Jay Z444, Kendrick Lamar, Humble, Migos featuring Lil Uzi Bird, Bad and Bougie. Love all those songs. Uh, my least favorite will be Borak Yellow, uh, but I still like that song, 4044, uh, nice track as well. Um, but I actually uh, love, um, like, I see Jay Z444 and Family Feud. Uh, in the next category, but I actually enjoy more the story of OJ and Bam featuring Damien Marley than those songs. But anyway, uh, hmm. Humble is the most, the best rap performance, but I wanna give it, like my pick will be Bounce Back because I do love that song and Bad and Bougie I love it as well actually it's very catchy I was enjoying it a lot but Bounce Back is just like damn I don't know like it just uh, has a nice anthem kind of like last night I took an L but tonight I bounce back it's just it's, it's great it's a great track I love it and my pick will be uh, Bounce Back because there's a lot of haters of Big Sean uh, and my project, my uh, Music with Bob uh, YouTube channel started with Big Sean's I Decided album review. If you didn't know that, here it is. <laughs> Here's the, that info. On February 3rd, when Big Sean dropped the album, my channel started pretty much. So, uh, bounce back. Uh, my pick, but Kendrick Lamar Humble will win, probably. Best rap song performance. Uh, Black Problems. I don't enjoy Black, but um, to be honest, I didn't really give him enough listens. Um, you know, I was just I wasn't just really interested to be honest what, from what I've heard. Uh, so no. <laughs> Best rap song, rap song performance. Uh, Gold Link uh, featuring uh, Crew. I don't I don't know that, about that song. Uh, Jay Z featuring Beyonce, Family Feud, Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna Loyalty, and SZA featuring Travis Scott, Love Galore. My obvious choice: SZA featuring Travis Scott, Love Galore. Amazing track, incredible track. Give it a listen if you didn't have. Although I, of course, uh, Riri is there. You know, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I do love those artists. Uh, maybe even more than SZA and Travis Scott. Uh, although I Travis Scott is my man as well, but. Uh, like as a song, Lab Galore is just more superior to me at least than Loyalty. And um, SZA might win that actually nomination. Kendrick Lamar is very big, Jay-Z is very big, but they might pull out that nomination. But again, I'm actually starting to doubt. Maybe, hmm, maybe Jay-Z will win this one because like I, sh I should give one to Jay-Z because I do enjoy 444 uh, project and I didn't give any uh, you know not awards to Jay-Z uh, like Jay-Z will win like three four uh, for sure and still didn't give one so probably I will give rap song performance to him uh, but again Love Galore is my pick best rap song um, I enjoy that you know we're in the rap section because like uh, that's my most excitement thing uh, to talk about rap. Uh, Cardi B, Boracielo. Although I do love pop as well and my channel about um, uh, pop. Anyway, Cardi B, Boracielo. Um, okay, the Danger Mouse. Uh, I don't know about this song. I never heard it. But Run the Jewels and Big Boy. Uh, definitely respect to them, especially Run the Jewels. I I love them. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, Humble. Rap City, Rap City, okay, sassy, and Jay Z, the story of OJ. I forget about that. Um, that Rap City was on here. Uh, I do remember that she has best rap album nomination, which was also very shocking. Uh, we'll get into that later, but best rap song as well, like Rap City. My God, this is incredible for her. Um, um, Humble story of OJ is. Uh, two of the b biggest songs. Um, hmm. I might go for the story of OJ for this one, best rap song, because um, Humble, even though, as I said, I love Humble, and, as, and I put it even like as a record of the year, I still want to give some praising to the story of OJ because that song is incredible as well. 
so for the record of the year I have Humble uh, for the best rap song I have the story of OJ and uh, it might win as well actually uh, but if not then the Humble will win uh, best rap album Jay-Z 444 Kendrick Lamar Damn of course again uh, these two are the biggest and probably one of them will win is my is my predicament uh, but um, Migas Culture, uh, I do enjoy that project, but not that much. Uh, 444 and them, of course, I, I love them. Uh, Rhapsody, Lila's Wisdom, uh, I was so shocked because, like, you know, there are so many great rap albums, and Rhapsody's project, uh, it's amazing, but it's just like, it's not a mainstream at all. It's not on, you know, hip hop mainstream. Uh, she's not Tyler the Creator or Chavez Gambino. Or not even uh, XXX Tentacion, like she's not on everybody on everyone's here uh, ears, uh, not Lil Pump, you know. So like, and I love the fact that she's on here. Uh, you know that she's very conscious. She's uh, she's basically like a female Kendrick Lamar. Uh, talks about real stuff um, and uh, express her feelings about even poli politics, her own feelings, um, love feelings, and I mean, so it's a great project. Give it a listen. But honestly, um, uh, I would prefer to have their the Trap Called Quest project. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Because, uh, and Q-Tip uh, was vocal about it. He said, like, he was shocked and I was shocked too. Like, they, I was automatically uh, expected that Trap Called Quest will be on here, will be, will have nominations. Because, like, last year, Grammy, 2017 Grammy uh, awards they were performing even you know like uh, they Grammy uh, did acknowledge that oh damn like this is trap called quest and they were pretty much praising by the fact that they gave a spot to perform for them but now no nominations is just I feel like it's very dumb because trap called quest deserve it more than culture for sure. Uh, raps, yeah, I mean, I will be respectful, but like, Trap Call Quest should be there. Uh, like, it's just so shocking to me. Uh, the whole album, it's an art. And you, you have like old generation, basically legends of rap, Trap Call Quest, Q Tip, uh, Five Dog is Dead, unfortunately, you know, and you have um, Kendrick Lamar uh, rapping on it. You have Kanye West singing on the chorus over there, uh, and so many dope, dope songs. Buster Rhymes, my God, like it's just uh, Anderson Park is over there, and like to not have this project on here is a crime, uh, biggest sin of this Grammy. And that was my basically major uh, complaint when I mentioned about it at the beginning of this video. I'm. I like and this project uh, that's only a few, one of the few projects I was listening to it all year like I you know there there are times like for example uh, when damn dropped I was listening to it two months but then I got tired of it and I stopped listening but Trap Call Quest like you know I was listening to it like few days and then I would not listen to it for a little while and then come back and still enjoy you know and then I still to this day I can just pull it up, pull it uh, and just listen to it and enjoy it so I just don't understand that choice that they don't have uh, Trap Call Quest over here but anyway my pick is Damn although I do love Tyler the Creator Flower Boy and uh, <laughs> my reaction was uh, you know pretty crazy over that one uh, I was experimenting a lot on that reaction video and I think it was pretty fun to watch um, all right Kendrick Lamar Dan best rap album best rock album um, honestly I don't really know rock you know especially these days I know 90s uh, rock Nirvana Metallica uh, Green Day Red Hot Chili Peppers I do enjoy those bands but Mm, like this ones like literally except Metallica I don't know anyone so I'm not gonna even guess who's gonna win or uh, but I mean I'll say just Metallica because that's the only one I know is my pick uh, but 
tell me by the way uh, if you are a rock fan uh, or you just listen to rock with your own spare time if you have if you check out uh, one of those projects uh, let me know in the comments uh, I do really want to um, hear your opinion about this uh, category who's gonna win over here best alternative music album has to be Grillless Humans because LCD Sound System and Arcade Fire uh, I, even though I know them I didn't really check out their projects this last two I don't even know who they are so clearly it's humans for sure best R&B performance yeah here I'm talking about this, this is a great category as well uh, Daniel Caesar fe featuring Cali which is get you really want this song to win because Daniel Caesar's project was amazing uh, Freudian or Freudian however you want to call it in incredible project uh, one of the best projects of this year for me at least and uh, Kilani's Distraction a nice song as well Lady Say Hi I don't know uh, I never heard of that song that's what I like amazing song as well uh, Caesar The Weeknd good song uh, but get you my pick but probably either Bruno Mars or Caesar will win that category unfortunately but I really want get you to win best R&B song uh, Khalid Location just checking uh, okay I'm talking too much huh? uh, okay last category right best R&B song uh, PJ Morton first began uh, Khalid location uh, Redbone supermodel that's what I like Bruno Mars is my pick over here although oh, Redbone also incredible track okay you know what I already picked one time that's what I like this time I will pick uh, Redbone for uh, best R&B song for sure um, Redbone and it might actually win but if not then that's what I like will win uh, or location actually uh, okay 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 and last category I want to talk about Fruitine is over here Starboy is over here by the way please give the Starboy some credit Please let it win. <laughs> Best Urban Contemporary Album. I really want that to win because Starboy, my man, The Weeknd, uh, deserve uh, Grammy. Best R&B Album, Fru Freudian, Freudian, uh, 24K Magic. Other three albums, I unfortunately don't know them. Uh, I will give it to Freudian just because I want to support that uh, artist, you know, but Bruno Mars definitely might get this one probably because like other like contesters are just not that popular not big enough yet at least well, yeah so 24k magic will win but my pick is for dying all right um uh, oh dance i like dance as well calvin harris is getting <laughs> a grammy for nothing <laughs> pretty much <laughs> just a free grammy uh best music video oh up on light is here okay um, the story of OJ for the best music video alright so that's it uh, talked a lot uh, hope you were sticking hope you like this uh, video um, tell me about your favorite picks you know um, definitely interested to check out uh, what do you th guys think about this um, and I'll see you guys in the next one hit the like button if you like this channel uh, oh, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one, as I said. Пока, хайер, ау фидерзейн, арвидерчи, адьос, чао, чао, ау ривуа, хорофис, goodbye.